Hey guys, Ben Paint here and today we are back once again for another video, however this time we do have a bit of a special one, this is in fact the regional final here at Coventry. Now before we do get into the video I would just like to say if you are new to the channel or if you've been watching a few of the videos and haven't already could you please hit the subscribe button down below as it really does mean a lot to me and it really helps the channel grow from strength to strength if you do enjoy this video could you please hit the like button down below and drop a comment as well for some of you regular guys to tell me which of the tracks you would like me to try and visit over the winter I'm planning to do a few different ones in the winter break from now until the next carton season really starts so if you drop a comment down below as well I'll get back to all of them and I'll let you know where I'm gonna head off next I have got quite a few plans in mind for November or this month coming up so stay tuned and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it but jumping into the footage then here you can see in the background just going around on a warm-up lap under yellow flags but this was a 15 minute qualifying slash practice session so I really wanted to get underway after my practice a couple of weeks before this video was filmed where I took on the Monday night social event at Coventry and I put in some decent lap times, my fastest lap being a 41.5 second lap and I was really hoping to get around the same sort of time, maybe even build on it if I could. So the layout for this, it was a bit different to what I expected. So we had a qualifying and practice as I mentioned, followed by two heats and the positions in those heats, both of them, were determined by the finishing position in qualifying so I knew that I had to get a really good lap in to sort of cement myself in the top two realistically is where I wanted to finish so say I finished in third in qualifying I would then start the first heat in third and no matter where I finished in the first heat I would then start the second heat in third so it was really detrimental just to put in a really quick lap time here at the beginning and then following on from that the semi-final grids would then be determined and then consequently the top six from each semi-final would then start in the grand final which is somewhere that I hope to be later on in the evening and you can see straight away our first proper lap time of 42.656 which is a pretty decent start to be fair the carts were still warming up and I didn't have too bad of a cart for this session and quite a lot of the carts to be fair there was quite similar parity between them there wasn't too many outliers there was one cart that was a little bit off the pace but luckily for myself, I didn't actually have it for any of the races that I participated in on this evening. But here you can see a couple of drivers up ahead. I was really trying to use them as a marker just to try and keep up with them, try and catch up, try and really put in as consistent lap times as I could off the bat. Now you can see straight away going for the left-hand side along the straight to try and get a decent lap time. I don't know why I tried that so early as I knew the track grip still wasn't up to, up to scratch to where it needed to be. So our second lap there 42.279 which I do believe was the fastest so far so I was quite happy with this I was having some decent pace and I knew the pace was only going to get quicker as the session went on so here just once again just trying to be as smooth as I possibly could and just trying to maintain a decent gap to the drivers ahead I didn't want to be caught up behind them so here you can see obviously we did sacrifice our last lap or this lap sorry due to running down the left hand side of the straight so I decided to slow down and create a bit of a bigger gap for myself so that I had more or less chance sorry of actually catching up to the guys in front and just putting in a fast lap so you can see there 43.694 a slower lap but one that I was obviously looking to do so I was hoping to do one lap at my maximum pace and then one lap just backing off trying to create a bit more distance for myself so here once again you can see how much time I'm gaining on the drives ahead as they are all bunching up together and this is obviously something that I didn't want to happen because as you can see straight away the driver there in the black and lime green helmet just gone a little bit wayward and this slows down the driver in cart number two ahead of me so this is something that I didn't want to happen to myself so here the driver in cart number two goes down the inside I also look down the inside just to try and make sure that I'm ahead of the drivers I knew was a little bit slower than some of the other ones and then I cemented myself in that position obviously this lap was also a bit slower so I didn't quite go for the edge tactic once again here I saw a few drivers just shooting past or there was a few everyone was sort of bunched up together on the track so I decided to let the drivers through again staying behind the driver in the black and lime green helmet so I knew I was going to catch up with them again but I did just want to create a little bit of space for myself just so I wasn't sort of in a gaggle of cars because 
obviously when you're all together you're all going to slow each other up it's going to almost become racing and that's something that I didn't want to happen when I knew that the qualifying session here was probably the most important session of the whole evening so once again just backing off a little bit creating a bit of space down the straight not even hitting the throttle and you see there's also a yellow flag so here I've really slowed down barely making up the ramp here having my throttle all the way in but not actually being able to get up the ramp properly and here just really slowing down trying to just again create as much space as I possibly could as we do actually get a red flag there so I don't know what incident in, entailed there but we get underway again yellow straight to green and once again I let a driver behind me pass just so I can try and create as much space as I possibly could obviously most of the drivers now at this point have shot past me and they're all really you see on the right hand side there really really briefly they're all quite bunched together and this is something as I mentioned I didn't want to get involved with so you can see there three or four carts all just in a row holding each other up and here I had quite a lot of space just to hold back hold my time bide my time and really focus on the next few laps obviously with the car slowed down getting a little bit cold and then here we go I just tried to get myself underway snap myself out of maybe any disjointed thoughts I had and I was really just trying to get back on it and get into the session properly so 59 seconds there and really a lot slower but obviously that's due to the red flag so really just trying to hit all my apexes here lifting off as I mentioned in my previous video at Coventry just to get as much swing into the corner as I possibly could try and get as good exit out of the first couple of corners because it really does lend itself to having a lot of momentum leading to the down ramp section and again using the black sort of spludge mark on the floor as a breaking point just to really try and get the cart turned in as tightly as you possibly can to then turn it back to the left ready for this almost flat out section trying to get as tight as I can to the apex on the a on the exit there as well just trying to get up to the ramp and then swing the cart in as much as I dared but obviously this lap once again just trying to warm the cart up so a 42.541 so still not even as fast as my fastest lap so far which was done on, the, on pretty much the third lap of the session so really just trying to focus on improving my lap times obviously I've sacrificed a lot of laps now letting people pass being held up by yellows and reds so it wasn't the best session so far about halfway through at this point and I realized that the pressure was really on just to try and get my lap times down now here I was behind Sarah I believe this is and I was just thought I'd try and catch up to her as much as I can try and just get past and, and really pushing the cart forward there you can see just trying to urge myself before the up ramp and a section that I really enjoy doing is you can really go flat out again looking for the edge tactic but deciding against it and maybe if I did it I'd have a, a quicker lap there 42.224 so my fastest lap so far and this was sort of my cool down lap but instead I just sort of tried to make a move on Sarah here just to try and give myself some more space I knew there was a big gap in front of her so here really closing up through the bottom hairpin and the bottom sections here looking for a little move down the inside but deciding against it and getting a better exit but unfortunately tapping the back of her cart there causes me to bog down and again just getting some decent momentum out of the corner there and this then leads to me being able as she leaves a little gap there on the inside for me to go down the inside as we need up to the ramp once more going down the inside just checking to my left see if there's enough room and just trying to set myself up now for a fast lap a lot of space and so not really a lot of excuses for a slow lap here so 43.307 there and we're coming around once again just trying to be as smooth as possible again almost clipping those two apexes there just trying to stand leaning forward just trying to lower as much wind resistance as I possibly could with the indoor air obviously there's not a lot of wind resistance but any advantage I could gain I was trying to get it and again using that, that spot on the floor as a breaking point really maximize my exit trying not to steer in too much to the input out of that second hairpin because it did lead to a bit of a slide if especially if you have your foot planted again just trying to deploy a bit of human DRS here swinging the car in and unfortunately I did just tap the wall there and I got a 42.257 second lap so that was really on for a decent lap but unfortunately I just lost all my momentum there and it did just lead to me just ruining my lap which I think was on for one of my better laps there but just losing all my momentum not taking the edge tactic probably lost about half a second there so unfortunately just just too slow on that occasion and I, I think my head dropped at this point in the session I was a bit disappointed with that with that like tap of the wall and I was really just trying to get my head down trying to focus I knew so far that I hadn't put in a decent lap at this point I'd normally put in some, some quick fast laps at the beginning but in the middle here coming towards the latter parts of the session you can see really edging the cart forward but not really improving because it just wasn't a quick enough lap of 42.216 so 
really going for a fast lap when I probably should have just used it to set up my next lap and that sort of cost me now this lap and the time was ticking away now at this point two thirds of the way through the session about 10 minutes in and my hand was getting a bit achy as well my hands you see me just dusting them off there just trying to avoid any cramp that was occurring from uh, gripping the wheel really tightly I was, a lot of adrenaline was flowing through my body at this point so here once again just trying to get as tight as possible just trying to set myself up for the next lap obviously this is the throwaway lap we did get quite close and tried the edge tactic on the last lap so again just trying to set myself up now for the next consequent lap here so going quite wide there 44.601 so you can see how much slower you go by trying to take that line to get a fast lap so it really is one lap on one lap off again going a little bit wide through the flat section there and unfortunately losing a little bit of time but again really close to the apex there on the down hairpin which is really good exit as well I've found that by going a bit wider and keeping the momentum it was actually a lot quicker than trying to be a bit slower through the down ramp and just sort of stay tight to the racing line so by going a little bit wider it felt like a bit more of a hot lap pace which was good again maybe I could have been a bit tighter there on the exit of the last main corner there and coming up the ramp really tucking myself in chucking the car into the hairpin at the top of the ramp urging the car forward once again coming across to 41.856 which was a decent lap but still three temps off where I was in the Monday night practice social event that I did earlier in the week that this was recorded so really not on the pace where I need to be and I think that the nerves were getting to me now at this point I was feeling a bit anxious I was a bit annoyed with myself that I hadn't had a lot of the decent laps that I thought I would so again taking this lap just to slow down a little bit create some more space for the guys ahead obviously trying to make sure that obviously we don't really get caught out by yellow flag as well obviously yellow flag on one of the flying laps really would ruin it and I knew this was coming towards the end of the session so I, I wanted to try and get a good lap in if I could so here again just try and get as good an exit as I possibly could out of the first corner actually clipping the inside of the first hairpin which obviously does lose to you a few temps obviously the car catching on the barriers and again just trying to get as close as I can to all the apexes here really just minimizing the track length and sort of maximizing the most out of the car that I possibly could again just trying to keep a nice steady steering angle going through the bottom to double corner section there and swinging the car into the two hairpins so on for a decent lap here a few mistakes but we really are flying along now at this point getting a really nice tight exit onto the right hander before we go up the ramp once again tucking in as much as I dare clipping the wall actually on the left hand side just making a little mistake so a few wall taps and we urge ourselves across the line of 41.980 so still not as fast as our fastest lap so far which is really disappointing as we are coming towards the end of the session now and I knew that I had more pace in me but just too many mistakes uh, maybe the, the occasion was getting to me in my head due to the personal issues that were going on at the time sort of at the time sort of my head was a bit all over the place so my head wasn't fully in the right place if I'm honest again my warm down lap here again just slowing down creating a bit more space I didn't want to catch up to anyone ahead so here just trying to slow down a little bit try and get as much momentum as I possibly could coming into another flying lap and I, what I thought would be my last flying lap of the session and here again just coming around as much as I could at 44.887 so you can see how much slower I'm going to try and create as much space as I possibly can really getting the exits a lot better this time so this felt like a really good lap now at this point coming down the ramp get turning in as much as I can really getting a good exit out of the bottom hairpin section maximizing my exit as I mentioned trying to get as close as I could to the two apexes on the double right hander and again on the hairpins really getting as tight as I possibly could and getting a decent exit out of that section as well trying to stay tight to the apexes once again trying to swing the car in here and really getting as close as I possibly could a really good lap here tucking myself in as much as I can up the ramp just to try and maximize my speed get in the last corner and again I just hit the wall and it just leads to a 42.570 lap and that was the lap there that I really think would have matched my pace on the Monday night session so by hitting the wall there I think I think I just threw away my position so 41.856 was in fact my fastest lap of qualifying which unfortunately did put me in fourth position so not the top two where I wanted to be I was really disappointed as well because I was separated from the person in first place by three temps and I know that if I didn't hit the barrier on that lap that would have been a 41.5 at the minimum so the fact that I actually hit the wall there really did cost me and I come in now around this corner and it's actually to the chequered flag so trying the edge tactic but 
I knew it was too little too late and I was really disappointed coming around here, one hand on the wheel, was just really upset with myself, trying to check there to see if I could see my name on the time board, obviously it's too small, too far away, but I knew sort of at this point that I had a lot of work to do, <laughs> really leaning my head back in absolute pain and anguish of what's just happened, I knew, I knew what I'd done, shaking my head. And unfortunately, as I mentioned, this did put me in fourth place to line up for the first and second week. So I knew that I had so much work to do if I wanted a chance of top two for the semi-finals or to put myself in a competitive position. So here we are then, as I mentioned, starting in fourth place for the first and also the second heat here. So, spoiler alert, we are starting in fourth for the second one, as I've mentioned. But here, just tucked up here, behind James in front of me in car 33, and he had the car that I used in qualifying, so I knew it was a decent enough car. I knew that I was also in a decent car. I think the car I was using was the car that the person in first actually used to qualify, so I really knew that there was no excuses, really, and I knew this was a track that was really difficult to overtake. So here, we're just warming up in fourth place. Ideally, I need to finish in the top two if I have any chance of finishing anywhere near the top four positions for the semi-final so I knew that I had a lot of work to do in Coventry renowned for being a track which is absolutely impossible to overtake so I knew I had a lot of work to do but I was completely determined that I wasn't just going to let myself lie down and be defeated I really wanted to keep my head up and really just push forward as much as I can so you can see how slow we're going here coming around the corner ready to start our race so here tucked up as much as I can I was actually watching the driving first see when his pedal goes and we're underway pretty much rolling start and I'm stuck up here behind James off the start I go wide a little bit here to try and get as good exit into the first corner as I can a little bit of argy bargy but we do settle down quite quickly and the first lap is officially underway so here I was really just trying to pick out any weaknesses in James driving obviously James someone that I raced in the local final and actually had a really good race with him and came out on top so I knew that he was one of my main competitors here and I also wanted him to do quite well obviously racing against him I know him he's a good mate of mine so I just wanted to try and make sure that I could sort of get another one up on him as opposed to just languishing back in fourth place and being stuck in the train and there was a lot of train driving I'll be honest in this in the racing that you're about to see but I think I was the one person that was really just trying to go for it and try and make some racing overtakes, uh, which you will see later on in the footage. But first lap there, 42.3329, so already up on pretty much our average pace for qualifying. So you can see how slow I was going in qualifying compared to where I should have been. Losing a little bit of time there to the drivers ahead, but I was trying to create a bit of distance so I wasn't just caught up behind them. And obviously risk of loading penalties, this was something that was really drilled into us before you don't want to get up too close behind drivers in the braking zone and get yourself some penalties five second penalties for loading in, in the, this event so I was really just trying to make sure that I had enough space to work with and try and make as, as clean a move as I possibly could if I was going to go for a move so here you can see still in fourth place really just tagging along in the train a little bit of contact though with James obviously coming out of the apex so it's not too bad again just really getting some good exits but just again double, double tapping on James I was a bit worried there that I would get some penalties for loading but luckily I got away with it and as I mentioned I just wanted to try and just find a way past obviously you can see there's really no space to overtake unless the drivers are going to make a mistake and at the regional level that's not really going to happen too often so he can see how much of a better driver I'm getting out of the corners compared to the other drivers but just no space to really find a way through or make a move so I was stuck here in fourth place really just trying to settle into the race obviously we had about eight to ten minutes to really focus on the race and get it in so quite short races but ones that really had to get on pretty quickly so here again you can see the two drivers ahead sort of battling James sort of tagging along behind I'm getting some better exits there really closing up behind him but I didn't want to make any contact and I was watching behind me and the, the four of us in the front were sort of breaking away quite quickly compared to the other drivers so this gave me quite good confidence that the four of us at the front did have the pace to battle one another whereas the drivers behind was a little bit off the pace so I knew here, again, really scruffy here, drivers all over the place, really just trying to make a move if I could, try and look for a good exit, and here just a few cart lengths lost as I just didn't get the best exit out of those corners, really trying to just tuck into James's slip shoe if I can, and here coming up the ramp, really getting a decent exit into the corner, and just trying to follow along behind, taking a little bit of an alternative line, but one that actually did make me gain quite a lot of space, and 
time obviously those drivers obviously battling one another not giving each other a lot of room you can see the, the driver in second really going for a move James goes for a move down the inside on the bottom hairpin I did have to break and sort of lose a bit of time myself just to avoid that collision so James very lucky there I think if he did actually make the move stick he probably would have got a penalty there as you will see later in the video a bit of foreshadowing for you guys but James there just taking a little bit of a lunge and unfortunately that caused the driver in first place sort of to break away from the person in second and then James so the person in second here now sort of on a more defensive charge compared to where he was so James going very slow here um, make a look to the inside and actually managed to make the move stick there a little bit of contact there was made after the move was done so actually managed to move up into third place there which I was extremely happy with I knew now that overtakes were possible it was just a matter of drivers ahead making mistakes really and not fully just blocking the racing line because a lot of drivers were just driving in the middle of the track as it got later into the race just to cement their position whereas I was just trying to go for as many moves as possible to see how much time we're gaining on the driver in second here and I know James is hot on my heels he probably wasn't very happy that I was able to nip down the inside of him there so here really getting a good exit out of the bottom right hand corner and urging the cart forward now my, my confidence was quite high at this point I was looking for moves and to try and get up into second place I mentioned you ideally want to be in first and second or first or second for the two heats if you have any chance of being in the top four for the semi-finals which is ideally where you want to be if you want to qualify in any sort of position for the grand final and obviously only the top three go through out of the number of drivers that were here on this evening so you can see how much time we've actually managed to gain on the driver ahead but now it's just a matter of trying to make sure I can stay up behind him and look for any mistakes you can see a little look over his shoulder you can see that I was behind him and I think this is where he starts going a little bit more defensive you can see a little bit more to the middle of the track compromising his lines here I try and look for a little move here stick to the inside you can see he sticks to the middle of the track and there's just nowhere to go really I look to the outside here try and get a good run but unfortunately every corner here is consecutive there's a left right left right there isn't really anywhere there's like a double right hand or a double left hand where you can sort of make a move to the outside and then just sort of stick it for the inside for the next corner so it's really difficult here the configuration of the track to actually make a move stick so here once again just stuck up behind the person in second place because see we are actually gaining on the person ahead even though we are having a bit of a battle here and I'm putting the driver under a lot of pressure so here just trying to find a way through and trying to take a little bit of a tighter line but sort of compromise myself a little bit there realizing it so once again bunny hopping to try and get a better exit again just not close enough on this lap to sort of make any threat to the driver in car number 10 so here I was just really trying to focus on closing up so you can see the lap times 41.816 are fastest and 41.852 our last lap so being really consistent here and putting in some really quick times and I think I was actually faster than the two drivers ahead of us so the driver in first you can see how much we gained on him and I was actually faster than the driver in second but I just couldn't find a way through here you can see the unconventional line he's taking trying to force my way to try and get a better driver out the corner on the bottom two hairpins here just getting a really tight line here trying to close up as much as I can DRS down the straight up to the hairpin looking for the inside but just too far away so again just the driver ahead just maximizing that distance a little bit too much our fastest lap so far 41.748 so not really been held up now at this point you can see how much time we've gained on the driver in first you can see he was off the pace compared to us two in second and third and I think James is on my heels as well but as you see that just on right on cue looking over my shoulder but for the most part I wasn't really looking over my shoulder I was just trying to focus on getting ahead and trying to make a move on the driver in front of me I, I knew I, I knew I had the pace it was just a matter of if I could get past and where the gaps were going to occur again getting a good run out of the right hand corner really urging the car forward I knew I had a bit of pace and I maybe look for a move down inside here but again just too far away from the driver behind realistically there I could have made a little dive to the inside but a lot of contact probably would have been made now at this point we have caught up to the driver in first place so you can see how much pace we're showing compared to the driver in first I look over my shoulder again and I think at this point where I'm being held up James is actually catching up and now and sort of making a threat to make a move past something so I didn't really want to make a lunge compromise myself and then let him back through so just going into the corner a little bit too hot making a bit of contact there but luckily no warnings or no penalties were given once again for loading so again just trying to maintain my speed as much as I can clipping the wall a little bit there but still getting a decent enough run trying to make the driver faint to the inside but it's just not working I'm not close enough to make a move and as we come down here we do actually come across the line for the last lap and we end the race or the first heat in third position 
I do give James a little fist bump there for a bit of sportsmanship. I was a little bit gutted there, I knew I had the pace shaking my head, but third place I was really happy with that to actually gain a position compared to fourth place. So, so far getting some decent points and hopefully if we can replicate that into the second heat we'll be on for a, a decent-ish position in the semi-finals. Obviously the semi-finals determined on lap time as well, so that's something to think about. But here we do come into the second heat, so let's see how we get on in that one. So here we are then guys, jumping into the second heat, and as I mentioned, starting in fourth place once again. So realistically, I just wanted to try and do the exact same thing as I had done in the previous heat. I knew once again I had a decent car. I think this one was the car used by one of the better drivers in the alternate heats that were going on so I knew that I had a decent car and I, I knew I had some pace in me it was just a matter of if I could make the same sort of overtakes and maybe even push on to second or first if I possibly could obviously starting behind James once again and the same drivers in first and second so just really on the warm-up lap just trying to stay behind as much as I possibly could told that we weren't allowed to weave and attempt to warm up the tires as this would cause danger in the snake so Obviously just sticking behind as close as I could again just giving myself a little bit more space on the final corner and watching the driver in first place just to see when his foot goes down just so I can try and get the same sort of jump. And here you can see straight away right up behind James always pushing him through and here I move all the way to the left and then back to the right to try and make a move and unfortunately this does leave a bit of a gap on the left hand side and I actually drop down to fifth place right on the first corner of the first lap and that's the complete opposite of what I wanted to happen and here I was so frustrated that I'd actually leaked a position so early in, in such a silly manner so here I was just really just trying to get my position back I knew all the work I'd done in the first heat had been undone in a matter of, of seconds and I was really frustrated with myself you can see shaking my head all over the place really annoyed really frustrated you can see the gap already to the front three just breaking away as the person in fourth didn't quite have the pace obviously the person behind me as we started they started fifth in the first heat and they didn't quite have the pace of the other drivers up ahead so you can see the gap forming already I knew that I was losing every lap I was stuck behind the person in fourth now I knew that every single lap I was here every corner I was just losing more and more time and my chances at a decent position in the semi-final was slipping away so here I was really just trying to close up as much as I can, just trying to get as close as I possibly can in the braking zone, really closing up, almost touching the bumper of the driver ahead, taking a really good line out of the two hairpins here and coming right up behind the driver in number nine, really frustrated myself, see lifting my hand, really frustrated myself, just, just trying to get my head focused, my head was a little bit all over the place now at this point, looking to try and make an overtake up the ramp but too far away, see me the time again, cart lengths being opened and open more and more, 42.092 being held up a lot here at this point the driver in fifth that started in fifth sort of cementing this position here making a bit of contact there as we come just before the down ramp section so really knew I had a lot more pace in the driver head but just stuck in this position I look for a little move to the inside here but there's just not really any opportunity to overtake and that compromise my line coming out of the two hairpins here you can see how much space has opened up to first second and third now so I knew the best I could possibly get at this point was fourth position so really trying to urge the car forward looking to the inside here the driver going really defensive and I was really trying to make a move back to the outside here really getting my line wrong coming out of the first corner there the back of the cart sort of sliding all over the place and losing a bit of time to the driver ahead and actually getting put under pressure there with me looking back to the driver in sixth place so I was really languishing now in fifth place at this point I really wasn't on the pace that I was in the first session and as I mentioned you can see the drivers in the top three just the, they're literally being lost out of camera shot at this point how much time is being gained there so as I mentioned every lap here every corner just stuck behind losing time I'm really trying to close up now coming up the ramp looking for a little bit of an alternative line hopefully allowing the driver to move to the left so I can make a move to the right but it didn't quite work again trying to look for a move to the outside trying to go up the inside there but getting a bit of a shunt on there as well the car the driver in car number nine just sort of breaking on that corner and causing me to go into the back of him in a place you don't really break so there again a bit of contact and this is something that was going to bite me in the backside by the end of the session you can see again coming in the driver breaking 
earlier than me so I was actually able to gain a lot of time through the corners and, and I was really closing up behind him at this point and here I do try to look for the inside there on almost the last right hand corner before the ramp but unfortunately just wasn't enough time he goes really defensive again switching back to the left before swinging into the right so I was really closing up with some decent moves you can see James ahead there actually moving up into second place getting past the person in second so he actually managed to make a move and that compromised the person in in third place now and that allowed me and the person in fourth to really close up be back into contention with the drivers again with that contact as James went through the driver in first place is gone you can't even see him anymore he's off into the distance he's enjoying his time at the front of the pack much like he did in the first heat but again just really trying to focus on getting as close to the driver in fourth place as I could and try and make a move where I could find some space again you can see how defensive he's going into all these corners just going really right I look for a move down the inside here but I do just get a bit of contact there I did ease off to allow him to carry on but I think that did result in a bit of a warning slash a penalty at this point a bit of a, a lunge to the inside it didn't quite stick so compromising the driver head and compromising myself to the drivers in second and third racing off into the distance like I said being stuck in fifth place I was getting more and more frustrated with every lap that went past I was trying to make some moves stick but they just weren't working I couldn't find a gap the driver ahead wasn't really making any mistakes he was driving quite well to cement his position but he wasn't driving very fast again look down the inside make a bit of contact so again just wrong place wrong time causing the driver in fourth to lose even more time so again really not giving myself the best of opportunities to get away with no penalties here in this second heat and again just coming round the corners here just trying to get as close to the apex as I possibly could try and find a way past the driver in fourth if I could but he's doing a really good job just to defend and it's really making me frustrated more and more and obviously the drivers in second and third again just shot off into the distance the driver in first is, is gone he's pretty much won the race at this point but again just really closing up behind the driver here in fourth place really getting a decent exit out of the bottom two hairpins I look for inside again but decide against it and then try and get a good exit out of the right hand corner here getting a really good run coming up the ramp I don't know where to go here you lose a lot of space to the left I try and hang it around the outside but there's just not enough space so I have to tuck back in and remain in fifth place you can see the lap times 42.332 our last lap so our last session we were getting 41.8 so we're about half a second off the pace where we need to be by being stuck here in fifth position every lap half a second that equates to pretty much five seconds throughout the course of the whole race so here I really realized that I was just losing more more time again contact through the corner a bit of loading and I think with all the loading that was going on I did actually end up receiving a five second penalty at the end of this race however I don't think it actually equated to much because I think that me and the driver here in fourth actually were five seconds ahead of the drivers ahead so I did actually manage to finish in fifth position by the end of this race I believe but here we do continue trying to battle with the person in fourth place trying to make a move if we can I knew that any I knew now at this point that I probably had picked up a penalty from the amount of contact that had gone so I thought if I could try and make my way past at least I could try I knew I had the pace to try and break away from him and hopefully gain that five seconds that I would have lost through a penalty but here again just stuck behind the driver once again just can't find a way through just trying to just race as clean racing lines as I can really closing up here really trying to go for a move just really sticking to the outside but I was going to cut back to the inside but right around the outside here and we actually end up getting squeezed out there so even if you do manage to go around the outside it's just not going to happen the corner isn't long enough the track isn't wide enough so we're just stuck here in fifth position no way past the driver has driven really well I won't take anything away from him but it's just such a shame that I just cannot get past at any point on the track I'm really struggling to find space here really close here pretty much pushing him round here and actually just touching each other going round the corners here just so close trying to get a good exit out of the corner but a little bit of a slide there causes me to have a little bit of a detrimented line and then again he just manages to gain a cart length or two away again really urging the cart now really getting frustrated just trying to find a way through we come round the last corner here but unfortunately it was actually the last lap of the break so our last lap was a 42.061 to see how frustrated I am lifting my head up I knew I had a penalty as well but as I mentioned I think we were far enough ahead where I didn't actually lose a position so the first heat managed to finish in third position our second heat fifth which gave us a net position of fourth place so 
that did actually equate to the semi-final us starting in fourth so again a lot of work to do if we want any sort of position in the top two So here we are then guys, leading into the semi-final race, obviously the positions here really mattering because it meant that it would determine the positions for the grand final, obviously ideally you want to be in the top two in this situation because the top two would then result to being in the top four for the grand final and with only three going in through it really was all to play for especially as you can see there have been very minimal opportunities for overtaking so if i'm able to get in the top two in this race then it's all to play for but if not then we really are stuck in the mud so again in third place here is james so we're stuck in behind him once again looking to give him another battle as we have done for every session so far and then the front two are actually the two drivers that were in the alternate heat so we are in fourth once again as we have been for the whole evening and we're raring to get underway i really wasn't willing to let this go without a fight so again you can see going a lot wider here just to try and get a good run coming into the first corner at the top of the hill not making the same mistake as i had done in the previous race sticking as tight as i can to the right hand side and getting loaded a lot there a lot of argy bargy coming into the first few corners again someone tried sneaking down the inside there on the first corner and i wasn't having any of it closed them out and managed to carry on on my way but this did result in me losing two or three car lengths to the drivers ahead which i wasn't too fussed about because i knew that i did have good pace in me it was i was just being stuck behind some of the other drivers that were on the track now here again just trying to make up all the lost time that we had, we had lost through the first corner of the first section and really just trying to close down on james and the other two drivers ahead as much as i can just trying to stay as close to the apex as much as i was in qualifying and just minimizing the track length all the while the drivers ahead are actually fighting one another and slowing each other down and james actually goes for a huge dive bomb into the corner there and it actually renders him up into second place which i was really happy to see i was really happy to see him make that overtake on the inside and that was sort of what i was trying to do in the last session in heat two but the driver was just stuck in the middle there wasn't really any space for him to go for and this actually yeah, compromised the driver in cart number 15 who was now down in third position so i was actually stuck up behind them once again i was hopefully looking to try and do the same sort of thing as the race went on so here we are then stuck up behind in fourth place you can see first a shot off into the distance after that contact so he's having a very nice race already he's off into the distance enjoying his sunday drive i look for me down the inside but a little bit too far away and the driver there i think was wise to the move that james had made so he was really looking over his shoulder a lot more after that happened an early overtake is something that you really don't want to happen to you and once he saw here double check over his shoulder almost double take it and he realized how close i was behind him putting him under a lot of pressure and just trying to catch up and follow james through if i could i tried to capitalize on the move that he made but unfortunately i was just a bit too far ahead really pushing the driver through ahead not quite loading him but really making sure that our cars were almost stuck together almost at like a lego brick as we carry on going around here almost touching once again the whole track we've been on his bumper i look the inside here and he just looks over his shoulder and moves the inside i move the outside try and get a better run i then switch the outside here but fortunately as i mentioned before there's not really enough space to go through and actually end up going into the back of him as he plants the car in the middle of the track and that leads him to lose a bit of time to james and i also lose a few car lengths to the person ahead of me so really trying to get my head back down now and try and follow james through as i did or as he did early on in the session just make a nice early move but again we're just sort of having the same issues as we did in the second heat just sort of stuck in our position behind a slower driver so again just really trying to focus get my head down get some good laps in just to try and close the distance to the driver in front and hopefully actually catch up to james i mentioned we want to finish in the top two and see him first drive away as quickly as i as i did i really knew that james's position was the one that i was after now at this point and again really getting tight to the apex here a bit of a slower lap obviously due to the contact and losing momentum but you could see how much time we're gaining through this top section really taking a tighter line compared to the driver ahead and this means i'm able to close the distance exponentially and here again taking almost my qualifying lap line through that corner just to try and gain as much time as i possibly could again through the bottom hair but to almost pushing each other through once again really close up a lot of time here taking a tighter line you can see how much by going tight to the left hand side there i'm actually able to gain so much time on the driver ahead he was going quite wide in some of the corners and missing some of the apexes here i try fake right and go left 
to then cut back to the right but much as I mentioned there's just no space to make the overtakes on these top corners unless the driver makes a fatal error and here just from him defending you can see how much James is now pulling away so I knew second was sort of I was losing my grasp on second almost pushing him down the ramp here I make go to look for a move down the inside down the bottom of the ramp but think against it as I think I'll bide my time and try and make a safer move if I can later on into the session obviously there's not loads of time in the session so I was really trying to make a move as quickly as I could obviously the more time I was stuck behind the driver in third the more time James was getting away and the person in first was sort of racing off into the distance so I was checking over my shoulder but there was really no one anywhere near me at this point so I really knew that I had to get a move done as quickly as I possibly could coming round that lap 42.684 so again just really being held up much like I was in the second heat and not being able to even get into the 41 second laps I look for the inside here coming down ramp once again but the better of it the driver cuts right across in almost a dangerous fashion there so I almost end up going right into the back of him really like sliding the car across so almost actually t-boning coming down the ramp and this is something that you are going to witness later on into the session once again but we come around once again just really getting tight to the apex as much as I can getting a better run once more through the bottom right hand and really closing up through here I look to the inside here switch back to the right to the left sorry for a better run it's trying to stay to the left trying to get in the inside there but the driver thinks better of it and stays to the left himself really just hogging the middle of the track here and there's absolutely no way through really trying to just stick my way down the inside here not quite finding any room once again i'm actually losing a few cart lengths or a bit of time to drive it ahead so not quite pushing him through much like i was earlier in the session really just trying to put him under as much pressure as i can just to try and force him into a mistake try and force my way through if i could i was getting more and more frustrated being stuck behind this driver as i knew now at this point that second and first was sort of gone so the best i could hope for at this point was fifth position if i was able to make the overtake on the driver ahead obviously not a place i really want to be as I, it's really hard to make overtakes i knew people in the grand final were going to defend as if their life depended on it even if they were in fourth or third rather than up in the top two positions but here once again looking for the inside again but the driver just narrowly pushing his way through and really just trying to find my way i was looking for moves down the inside of the ramp and not quite getting the run as much as i could have and again really closing up through this bottom section the driver braking earlier than me and it's really causing me to just sort of close up and bump into the back of him and here again much like in the second heat i go for a move down the inside here on the right hand corner but i just don't quite get the drive out of the corner the driver's shaking his head i think there was every right to go for a move there and unfortunately i was just too far away to go for another consequential move down the inside of the last right hander so again just being held up by the driver ahead really can't get past just stuck almost a second a lap down from where i need to be obviously i ideally want to be in the 41 second laps to try and be competitive and I'm, my last lap was a 42.849 so really off the pace now at this point really just completely lost touch with the two drivers up ahead and actually you might have seen a little flash there but James actually was managing to catch up with the driver in first place you can see that on the right hand side again so they pulled out a huge gap and I think James actually managed to make the overtake on the last corner of the race for first place but back to myself anyway I really was closing up and literally pushing the driver through forcing him through the corners now at this point and he's really just breaking really early there's nowhere for me to go other than into the back of him so I was really just trying to make a move stick and here I just go down the inside once again and this is where my race all fell apart the driver cuts across and I actually spin him out so here we can see it again in all its glory Now obviously I knew at this point that my race was pretty much over. I knew that I was up into third, I made the move, but it wasn't done in the correct way. I didn't mean for that to happen. I wasn't forcefully trying to, to ram the driver off. If I was gonna do that, I would have done it earlier in the session. So I could have made my way through and hopefully mitigated any penalties that I got. I didn't mean to force down the inside. The driver was driving quite erratically into that corner and consequently that just led to him cutting across and me t-boning him ultimately so unfortunately that did sort of end that driver's race and i was going to apologize to the driver after the race but unfortunately as soon as i came off the track i just was met with a whole host of verbal abuse from the person's family and obviously i try to race as cleanly as i can i don't mean to be a dirty driver i didn't mean for that to happen 
but to come off and immediately get a load of stick, a load of abuse, it, I just really didn't appreciate it. So the driver themselves didn't come up to me and ask why I did it or what happened. So in my opinion, it was a line was drawn under it, it was done. But unfortunately, the person's family just wanted to keep on at me, swearing all sorts of verbal abuse. And in my opinion, I don't really show much remorse for that. So unfortunately, we will move on for the rest of the race and I guess that is just how heated some people get concerning the BIKC so at this point I knew I was I was disappointed in what was happening I knew at this point that my race was over I was going to get a penalty so my only option here was to just be as quick as I possibly could and try and stay in sixth position obviously the top six going through I am in third so I was just trying to pull out as much of a gap as I possibly could now I actually did manage to do this, I finished the race in 6th position, I will speak over as the laps are counting down towards, this was near the end of the session anyway, but I would just like to say I, I did actually finish in 6th position here with a 2 second penalty for loading and also a 5 second penalty for the contact and the spin out, so I got a 7 second penalty and still managed to finish in 6th position, however as the grand final was being announced there was a huge amount of dispute for about 30 minutes before the grand final took place because of this and I was consequently given another 5 second penalty, giving me a 12 second penalty and that pushed me down into 7th place. So unfortunately for me, I didn't actually manage to get into the grand final here, even though I felt I had the pace and the ability to make it, especially up into the top 3, but unfortunately it just wasn't to be, because see we come across the line there, 41.711. My fastest lap of the evening was my last lap of the evening and I do actually cut the camera off very prematurely here as I was very disappointed. So we're just going to come into the end of the video here. I'm just going to say thank you very much if you have watched this far and if you have enjoyed the video could you please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you aren't already as it really does mean the world to me. The channel has been growing from strength to strength and I only hope that this can carry on into next year. I have a lot of events lined up for the next month, so there's not going to be a lack of content coming anytime soon. I have a lot of different events as well, not just team sport, so I hope you guys are ready for that. And next year I have some big announcements to make that I hope you're all really excited for. As always, my Instagram is linked down below in the description, so if you do want to follow me there or see what I'm getting up to, then feel free to hit the link in the description. I hope you all have a good day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.